Well, I did it. Well, I don't know if I can really give away my secret. Spicy mayo and jalapenos? Yes. Okay, thank you. Spicy mayo and jalapenos? Finally landed myself in the doghouse. You're bothering me. I've never wanted to be in the doghouse any more than I do well, right now. The doghouse. This is, this is the place to be. This is probably my last, well, my last day here on the North Coast for a little while. And I just wanted to take time to spend a little bit of time in this little community of Blue Lake, a place you know I love so much, but there are just so many pockets and places and people that I want to show you and I want to take you to see. And this is just one of them. Doghouse here at the community park in Perigo Park. And really, as we've discussed before, the center of the universe, Blue Lake, California. Much love. I think we have everything that I usually have, including your favorites, pastrami Swiss, veggie yeah. sandwich yes, with Two hundred and twenty-five, I think. Two hundred and twenty-five people on just this little on griddle. On one day, yeah. Woof. Yeah, it was crazy. I bet it was hot it in was here. It was fun. And then we, we cover that up. Yep, get it all steamy and good, full of goodness. Uh -huh. Then we're gonna come on over here and make a a one of your famous sandwich. veggie sandwiches, right? They are kind of famous. Homemade pesto right Just here. about everything's homemade, isn't it? Everything's homemade. Everything's from scratch. The Reuben, I cook at home. I slow roast it for about five hours, the corned beef. I make a homemade Russian dressing. I make homemade sauerkraut. Oh, yes. The pickles. The pickles are amazing. People, people, first one's free. <laughs> Just like any good dealer would. Oh yeah. Some organic homegrown tomatoes. Uh, if I can't grow them out here in my garden, I get them. And here's a batch from my friend Jim Polly of Fieldbrook Valley Farms. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to take a trip over to the garden. Ah, well. It's pretty puny looking right now, but I do have some starts over there that I'm going to plant. Gotcha. Oh, man. Follow me. You okay. got it. The dahlia. <laughs> Darcy and her dahlia. It's a community garden. So just this year I got a plot so I could put some herbs in. Uh, so. I can come over here and get fresh cilantro, parsley, uh, basil, and hopefully some dill. So a lot of times these community gardens are like a great idea. But this garden is immaculate and it's been this way ever since it was started a year or two. So there's all these beautiful things. So people who don't have enough space at their home can uh, arrange to get a rectangle and plant their little heart out. Mine is the only one with horse shit. <laughs> Manure. My claim to fame. So Very that's nice. It. Thank you for yeah. showing me the garden. Yeah, it's a work in progress. Yeah, uh, Mickey and I, my dog, we walk by here every day and I've been wanting to learn more about it. So thank you so much, Darcy. Yeah, for sure. If you like what you're seeing, do me a favor and subscribe. You're doing a great job, Darcy. So are you. Avocado coming up. Not everybody's a television chef, you know. Doing this on the fly. I, am I wear impressed. many. I wear many hats. <laughs> I bet you do. Well, right now, this hat looks delicious. Pastrami Swiss. Do we have a homemade pickle to throw on this? Not quite. Okay, I'll let you grab it. 
And there goes Marlene. There she goes. The faithful sous chef, if you will. That's right. <laughs> and those are the famous homemade pickles. Oh my gosh, look at those. Aren't they fantastic? Uh, Thank you, Marlene. A little bit of nutty arugula. Microgreens from Freshwater Valley Farm. Delicious. So full of good stuff. You and all locally this. grown fresh yes, ingredients. Yes. You want to take a photo of this uh, oh, man. sandwich cut in half? Oh, absolutely. With its homemade Thai pickles. Uh, homemade dill pickle going with the... I'm going to start the signature item That's that you right. provide here. This is the That's umami right. dog, right? Yep, yeah, this is a Miller all beef. Taking it out of the, the steamy water and putting it in here is going to kind of steam the bun a little bit. Oh man, I love it. Yeah. The attention to detail, that's what makes places like this so special. And I can tell you're doing it Devil's with love. Devil's in the details. <laughs> That's what they say, but you know, they say, huh? all the good things come from very detail-oriented people that have a passion for what they're doing and a care for great ingredients. So thank you, Darcy. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, jalapenos, also from Dealbrook Valley Farms. And tomorrow you will be finding the taste of these in a creamy jalapeno soup. Oof. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I yes, wish I had boy. more time. <laughs> I've got to head back to the Eastern Thank Sea. Thank you, Darcy. <laughs> I really appreciate you diving in and going for it. Well, Most people get a little camera shy. You're a, you're a natural. I'm a ham. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just serve ham. I'm a ham. <laughs> yeah, I don't just serve it. I am. So... I'm gonna just Speaking open that ham. bun up a little and get a little more, uh, um, yeah, a little, little bit, more heat. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, retired from school bus driving, and I'd always done food. And even in the middle of my bus runs, I would I had a little business called Home Again, Home Again, and I would come home and make food and then deliver it to people. And that was one of my many jobs so <laughs> when I kind of figured out I could, I could sort of retire if I had a little side job I I retired and I did food at the lager bar every uh, every two weeks so we had a dinner at the lager bar and then COVID hit and so I got a micro enterprise home kitchen license and I did food out of my house which is around the corner yeah and uh, then that was very popular. Uh, people really liked eating out during COVID. We would do between 40 and 60 dinners out of my house every Friday night. It was kind of crazy. That so then like I got it. an offer to, uh, to do food, like kind of the city kind of begged me to come here and do food, which was really needed in our town. So we just started with a hot dog stand and grew from there. Well. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> I've never wanted to be in the doghouse any more than I do right now. <laughs> I know. If you're going to be in the doghouse, this is, this is the place to be. Okay, so we're going to build a very simple um, umami, umami dog. dog. Yeah. And that's umami-infused so, ketchup, right? This is umami ketchup. A little larrapin mustard. I'll tell you about the oh, umami ketchup in, the, in, in, a, in a second here. I love larrapins. Oh, yeah. Look at you go. So it's a, it's a little bit of a gourmet dog. Purple onion on here, just because it's, it's kind of colorful. We're getting low. Yeah, I never and, understood why we call it red onion. <laughs> so then we're dipping in here to our Thai pickles. And uh, these are the little Persian cucumbers. Well, I don't know if I can really give away my secret, but hey, there's that's fine. cilantro and jalapeno and some other yummy things in there. And it's pretty simple. Well, you got my mouth watering. Okay. So it has the, um, the umami of the ketchup that's sort of rich and deep, the spice and crunch of the Thai pickle, the beefiness of the all beef dog and a little bit of uh, sweet and spicy mustard. This is the umami dog. And wow. you get to tell me how you like it. 
Oh boy. This is just about a perfect day. We go like this. Oh man. <laughs> I am a happy man. No more perfect place to enjoy a hot dog than right next to the ball field. Man, Darcy and the doghouse. I've never been more happy to be in the doghouse. Much love, everybody. We wrote and rewrote and rewrote. And so finally we came up with a, a really cute ad for coming out to Blue Lake, get your, you know, beer, sunshine, cheap gas. Yeah. Add the doghouse to that list, you know, ride, roller, stroll to the doghouse. But at, even as I say this, I'm almost choking up with tears. And that's how I get when I have to talk to someone. <laughs> it's just, it's not good. Well, no, that's, <laughs> that, that means that you have passion. I get the same way. Uh, I can get choked up with like a tissue commercial. I could get choked up watching an Annie Mary parade, you know? It's yeah. just, I don't know why. Well, because it's we love life. It's the sweetness of it. Yeah. It's, it's the love, yeah, well, it, for sure. And if there's, I'm gonna put this around and, and sit in here next to you. Because <laughs> if I have to say, if there's one thing I really, truly, absolutely I adore about this. Hey, thanks for coming by. <laughs> Thank you. Did you like that cowboy candy? Yeah, it was a little, a little hot, candy. huh? Yeah. <laughs> But I get indigestion easy. Oh, well. I tried to eat it anyway. But. It's good to take, good to sample. All right. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, Darcy. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> I was just talking about how much one of the things I love about this place are the people. I mean, it's just the community vibe here is fantastic. It's hard not to feel it. Don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Darcy. Thank you. I've had such a great time. I can't wait to sit down and eat my dog. I know, right? <laughs> you must be starving. <laughs> well, my mouth is definitely watering, that's for sure. Okay, well, I'm going to get up and cook because uh, <laughs> Thank you that's so much. what I do best. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you say, but you know what? You're a fantastic human. Thank oh, you. Oh, well, I am a really lucky human. I love my job. And uh, I have, I still have fun doing it. So as long as I have fun, I guess we'll, we'll keep going. Right on. Yeah. Feel the same way. Remember, when you're out there on the road, keep it between the lines. Look out for Smokey, cause. They're looking out for you. And as always, thank you for allowing me to entertain you. Presumably, this is the Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. Remember, you can see your name in lights every week by becoming a Patreon member, just like Whitney, David, and David. Thank you for everything you do to support the dream that is the Vic Meyer Show. One more time, much love. <laughs>